Hello everyone, this is Cassidy Samson. Sorry, my voice sounds like crap, but if you were sent the link to this video, I'm sorry, you're probably using your microphone wrong. Which I am about to demonstrate to you. Why? Why do you make me do this? Okay, hello everyone, this is Cassidy Samson. Check this out, new microphone. Yeah, hopefully this will improve my quality. Except, it totally won't because I'm not even using it correctly. There. See? Because the Samson Meteor is a... Crap. The Samson Meteor is a side address microphone. So, yeah, the side of it should be pointed at me. Not the end. Line. Yeah, side. Now, please note that side address, pretty much all USB condenser microphones, pretty much all, almost all large diaphragm condenser microphones, you know, even the Blue Yeti, which is a small diaphragm condenser microphone, and medium diaphragm condenser microphones as well. Those are pretty much all side address. The only one, the only one of those I know of that is end address is actually the Rode Broadcaster. Okay, hello everyone. This is Cassidy Stamps, and if you hear this, I just got a new microphone. It is a Sennheiser E835. Yay! Look at this. I am totally using it correctly. It should improve my audio, except I'm not. It is. End, an end address microphone. And yes, I know. My voice is pretty janked. Like I said, at least I think I said it, I am having a mild case of laryngitis. So, yeah, probably going to sound a bit bad. Now, I do know that the Sennheiser A35 is only one microphone, but with pretty much any dynamic microphone there are a few like the sh there are a few like the sure 55 yes i know this is a sounds and meteor but it's the closest thing i have the sennheiser e609 which is actually an instrument microphone but you know the neumann bcm 705 i believe is what it is and a few others uh there are a few side address dynamic microphones, but pretty much all of them are end address. <laughs> and yes, I do know that the lighting makes half of me actually look ill, and half of it gives me a warm tint. Don't judge, okay? I'm Cassidy Stamps. Okay, hello everyone. Okay, hello everyone. This is Cassidy Stamps. This is just cringe, I know. But, you know, this video, this microphone is perfect for this kind of content. But, yeah, I just got a new microphone. It is the Behringer B1. And look at that. This should improve my audio quality a lot. Right? Wrong. Because I was actually speaking into the back of it, which sadly is actually a bit a bit too common of a mistake. And yes, I am about three inches off of it. I'm not right on top of it because, you know, you don't want to be right on top of your condenser microphones because that will. And yes, I know this is providing a bit of ASMR, but yeah, you do have to speak softly like this because they're too sensitive. So instead, I'm about three inches off. <laughs> oh boy, this looks awful. However, this lighting test must happen, and the show must go on. With dynamic microphones like these, it is a lot harder to speak into the back of. Because they're end address. The problem is, side address microphones, side address microphones are way, way easier to speak into the rear of. Their back is almost always open 
Okay, hello everyone, this is Sadie Samson. As you can see, I don't have a microphone within my presence. I've officially moved it out of the video frame. And it should sound perfectly acceptable. Except, in my opinion, it doesn't. Because that background sound, that's the furnace. And some preamp hiss as well. So yeah, if your microphone isn't designed to be out of the video frame, and if it doesn't work in the room, and also, if you prefer it to be in the video frame, just don't have it out of the video frame. This does not work out at all. So, I will just need to... I will just need to turn it down. And I'll also... I do actually have a bit... I do have a bit too much gain. And I still have a bit too much gain. So, no gain. There. Isn't that better? And if you're wondering, this microphone is the Bex Behringer XM8500, and this is what I had the microphone in. The next mistake you could make is, of course, using two microphones on your voice. And because you should not be... You know, voice is something that should not be panned left to right so if you use two microphones you should you should just you should just there you see you should just down mix down mix your voice to mono and now as you can hear i am coming out of both ears yeah voice is not something that should be panned on a singular voice because if you as you can hear I am now coming out unequally in the microphones. And then another mistake you could be making is to have an uncomfortable microphone stand position. So let's just get that guy out of here. And there we go. Much, much better. I can now, I can now use my mouse comfortably. And also the tertiary camera angle. The tertiary camera angle is fallen. Another, Another mistake you could make is to use a microphone in addition to the one you wanted to, or even two in addition to the one you wanted right now, but you're not using the, or you are using the wrong microphones, but you are also also using the right microphones. So basically, you should you should you should not use the mute switches on these because that is loud. So you just there we go. Okay, hello everyone. This is Cassidy Stance, and yeah, I have just upgraded my microphone from my my Logitech C six fifteen webcam to this guy. And yeah, as you can hear, as you can hear, yeah, as you can hear, it should be a lot better. But it's not because I was actually using the wrong microphone. Yeah, that is a, a an unfortunate mistake that I see people do, but it happens. So my point is just, just use the correct microphone. Another mistake you can make is to use the microphone's built-in stand because if you type like this, whereas I'm going to hold it and yeah, there are not as many thumps from me actually typing the keyboard as well as banging on my table. Yeah, banging on my table and now it should not it should not be as loud. So, yeah, there's that thing. And then, of course, another another mistake would be to put it behind the keyboard. Whereas, if you put it in front of the keyboard, like this, which is not the same amount of distance, but, but we'll improvise. 
it will reject a lot more sound especially the ones right behind it yeah those ones okay I do hope you found the video helpful and informative or at the very least interesting at least something but but unfortunately ladies and gentlemen that is all I've got time for and I need to rest my voice as well after this I really do hope you've enjoyed this video if you did then please do hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but anyways this has been Katie Stamps cheers for watching and I'll see you later bye Thank <laughs> you.